talking to you today about forging for creating Christmas decorations of all sorts. Uh, I've decided this year to overhaul the way that I'm decorating and try to use things from nature, try to forge and collect things to create our tree to look very natural and organic, um, not too many extra man-made uh, decorations. There's so many things that you can do just by going out in the forest and finding different things and we're gonna add a few elements like painting or sparkles, things like that, just to dress things up a little bit. So without further ado, come on with me outside and we will do some forging. Then you have a dog that doesn't want to come inside after you've done forging. Joni. In addition to forging our cedar for our wreath, we've also forged some beautiful pine cones. We're going to paint white um, for the tree. lucked out this year. There was a big storm here in Vancouver. It rained, there was branches down, so we went out right away and started gathering some things. Here are just a few examples of what you can find out in the forest. Now, when you go out, it's a good idea beforehand to kind of do some a little bit of research and figure out some things that you might want to make, um, some ways to use things. For example, if you're collecting little uh, greeneries or branches, you might want to find enough that you can use to wrap your gifts with. So think about how many gifts you might need. Um, and when you're going forging, know that you might not find everything that you wanted. You might walk away with only a few things. It depends on where you go and depends on how long you're going for those walks and how long you want to spend looking for things. So you might notice as you are exploring, you might find some interesting things that you didn't even think about. And I would say bring a couple of bags with you and collect as much as you can. You can always compost it um, or put it in the compost or waste bin um, if you're not going to use it at the end of the day. For my projects I want to create a wreath, find some pine cones to put on the tree, and to find some other like little things that I can use to wrap gifts with um, and decorate the wreath with. I've found some fur these are really cute to put on top of gifts. I'm going to use this to add an applique to my wreath. And I found this beautiful big branch of pine um, after the storm that we had here in Vancouver. So that was what inspired me to make the wreath in the first place is finding this giant branch that was already on the ground. I was able to find enough branches to create a beautiful big wreath. So. This is another thing that you could look for and also really cute on top of gifts. So, and other little things I am going to be looking for. Little pine cones. So we are going to be painting these white and maybe if I get around to it, adding some, adding some sparkles. We'll see. Things to note while forging is to make sure that you are, are collecting things that are already fallen and already on the ground. So that's the whole idea around forging. And we don't want to be going in the forest and cutting down branches and things like that um, just for our Christmas aesthetic. Oh. 